Hello everybody, my name is Steve Russell. I'm going to do a tutorial here on DaVinci Resolve Studio Beta 17, specifically the video collage. I was looking online, couldn't find good resources for it, so I kind of saw one little hint and uh, I learned a lot of it by myself here. Hope this makes sense to you, hope it clears some things up because it can be confusing. This is uh, what we're looking at. This is the uh, the tiling in of these videos comes in over the background. It's a nice slick effect. And I hope I can explain it to you. My first tutorial, so bear with me. Okay, let's get on with this. Um, we have the four clips uh, loaded here. I want three clips uh, across my background. Background here is the uh, a TV studio, and beneath it are three clips, a skater girl, a cat, and a chair out in the middle of a field. So, to apply the effect, I go here to uh, Effects Library, and it's going to be an open effects. Once you get in open effects, one good way I've found is to click on the magnifying glass and then I will type in collage. And that's the name of it. It's called the video collage. I'll grab it there, see that it's the right preview. Yeah, that's exactly what I want it to be. I drag it, put it down on top of the uppermost clip. The top clip is where this belongs when we start. So let me minimize this. And so here we have, now that's a pretty interesting effect, but it's not really what we want to do. Because um, right now what's going to happen is it will play the skater underneath and it's kind of acting like a mask, right? I'm a little laggy here, but we'll get rid of that in a moment. All right, so um, it's acting like a mask. Now, other YouTube uh, tutorials I've seen, other tutorials I've seen have talked about, well, at this point, then what you want to do is you want to resize that second layer and make it fit into one of these uh, one of these here and then you can get rid by cropping and stuff like that well that's just too much work and it's not what we want it doesn't really fulfill the the promise of of this effect so here's what we're going to do we're going to make this uh, it might be a little complicated but it's worth it because of what ends up at the end so we're back up on top we're going to click on the uppermost uppermost clip here and then we open up the inspector inspector and that's where the magic happens because here in the inspector now we have a couple of tabs across the way here that's kind of that's new in uh, uh, 17 beta uh, click on effects this is the important part to make this really work well you want to set this up precisely you want to kind of have the end goal in mind I know that I want three videos across the way here. So I set the columns to three, and then the rows, I'm going to go to one. So columns three, rows one. So I have one, two, three videos. That's where I'm going to end up. Now, lots of different options you can uh, choose here. I'm just going to choose to stagger these vertically. And as I do, it gets a little bit artistic uh, feel to it. All right, it's not just so blocky anymore. And I'm also going to change the rounding. Rounding here, I can take it down to none, where the corners now are very sharp. Or I can even take it, if I wanted to, all the way down to circles here. And that's pretty cool as well. But I'm going to do something in the middle and have some rounded uh, rectangles there. That looks good for what I want. All right, so those are the globals. That's what the global feel looks like. You can also do the margins. You can do offsets. You take a look at that. These are all key, uh, uh, key frameable, so they can be uh, animated as well. But when I, right now, I'm going to move from globals into tiles. All right. At this point, what you may want to do, what I like to do, is to click on my preview here, preview layout. This helps you understand what's going on. Here, I get confused by that skater girl. And so if I click the previews, I can uh, pay more attention to what's going on with the individual tiles. Tiles are the thing that makes this work. Right now, I'm on tile number one. I can click here, click the tile number two, and you can see that it shifts to a, a striped tile here. That shows me that that's the tile that I'm manipulating. And then tile number three here, you can see that that's what I'm manipulating. What I mean by manipulating? Well, it's the things underneath here. 
Um, lots of things here. Lots of uh, lots of uh, lots of options. Lots of choices. I'm just going to use a couple of them. I'm going to go into tile uh, tile styling. Add a border to it. A uh, small border. This one's yellow. I'm going to put it right around there. Uh, take it off preview to see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks good for me. Okay, and I'm going to add a drop shadow to it just to give it some depth. And But this is really what I wanted to show you. This is the tile animation. This is where the fun comes in. All right, so I'm on tile number one, and I want to make tile number one do some animation. Fly in, um, shrink, or... Um, or a couple other options as well. Here in tile animation, we have apply to all tiles. We could use that. I'm not going to though. I'm going to deselect that. And here in this first animate section, I'm going to click intro only. Now when I do that, you'll notice that here in my window, um, tile number one has severely shrunken. And that is because the default for this is shrink. If I deselect shrink, you can see it back as it was again before. Now for tile one, I think I'm going to have it fly in. I'm going to select fly. And as I do, it disappears because it's gone somewhere. It's gone over here to the right where I can't see it because it says here in fly animation says fly right. Right. So as I scroll through this, you will see that it comes in from the right, comes in from the right, and it will reside on the left-hand side. Okay, comes in from the right, ends up on the left-hand side. That's what fly right means. Now I can also make it rotate at the same time, right? So let's go back here to the start of this. It's missing. And as I scroll through, it will rotate and make it appear as it rotates in from the side, just like that. So let's watch the skater girl as she comes in. There we go. And it just snaps into place. Nice little thing. Now, once again, this is just being used as a, uh, a mask at this point. So let's uh, let's go to tile. Let's see if we can go to tile number two, and we'll do something with that. Let's have tile number two again. Animate. Let's change that to intro only, and instead of shrink, instead of fly, let's make that fade in. So as that comes in, let's see what happens. At the same time, one is flying in, the other one is fading in. So they snap into place in just a moment. All right, now let's change number three. So let's go to three here. Select tile number three. As you can see, now it's stripey. And we're going to change that. We're going to intro only. And let's have this fly in as well. And let's get rid of the shrink. And instead of having it fly in from the side, like from the right, let's change this. We're going to make this into fly up. Now, this is confusing because it's not really flying up. It's flying from up. So let's see what that looks like. Here we go. All three should come in about the same time. And we've got one flying in from the side, one fading in, and the other one fading in from up. Okay, those are our three animations. And uh, I like those. We'll stay with those. If you want to see what the skater girl looks like, here she is in the glory. And we have the different tiles coming in. And uh, that's pretty nice. Pretty good. But once again, this is just acting as a mask. All right. The, there's no animation of the video itself. It's just the masks are being animated as they come in. And that's where the fun comes in with the uh, animation of the video's on the masks. It's the tricky part, the part that a lot of people are missing right now. So here's how we do it. What you want to do is you want to uh, right click the top, uh, the top clip, and we are going to copy. This will copy the attributes. This will copy what we have, um, what we have changed on that clip. 
We're going to click on the second clip, right? This is that skater girl. We're going to right click on that. And we're going to paste the attributes to this. Paste attributes. Now, what you want to do here, if it's not already done, you want to click and toggle this down in the bottom left where it says plugins. And you apply. Click apply. And there we go. Now suddenly we're seeing a cat. Ah, that's because we're now looking through two different layers. All right. So what we need to do is go over to the effects tab, click there. We're watch we're seeing two backgrounds. We want to create a tile instead. So we click on this to create tile. We do, it creates a tile. Now notice the active tile is three. Let's change that. Let's change that to tile one. And you can see the skater girl ends up in tile one. If we animate this and we play it, you will now see the difference. The tiles come in and you can see that the two tiles of the cat just come in as tiles, whereas the skater girl comes in as an animated video. She's twirling around and coming in along with the tile. Right. See the difference there? All right. So we've established one. Now we do the same with the other ones as well. All right. We uh, first we uh, clicked and we uh, pasted attributes to the second clip here. Let's do that for the remainder two. So click and click. We select both of those by clicking control as we select those. We're going to right click here. We're going to paste attributes or you could alternately do alt V. Click that and the attributes are pasted. The plugin we apply and there we are. Now once again we're seeing through three different layers here, and that's why those are black right now. It's like we're seeing into the abyss. So what we need to do is to select our next line, which I'm going to select as the cat. We go over to the effects. We notice it's still on create background. We want to create again a tile. We create the tile and the tile is there. I want to keep this over in my third. This is tile three. I want to keep the cat over in the tile three. Okay. So we need to do the same thing with the armchair. We click on that clip. We go to the effects. It's in the effects already. We click create tile. Create tile. Now it's automatically gone to three. Let's change that to two. And the armchair shows up in two. Pretty cool. Now let's watch it. All three coming in, and they're all three animated. Right. Two fly in, one fades in. Let's do that again. Here they come in. All three are animated. They all move along with the tiles. And that's what you want to accomplish. All right, now let's say this uh, armchair, you don't like the fact that it's offset. We can certainly change that as well. Let's go to the actual clip. And we're going to click on that and go to resize content. Click that open. You got some choices here, pan, tilt, and zoom. Let's zoom in a little bit on this chair. And let's pan, let's change the pan on that and get that somewhat centered, a little bit off-centered, a little bit artistic. So that's that. Now, if you change any of the tile animation at all in, let's say you change it in the armchair and you change it to fly or shrink or whatever like that, if it's changed in here, after you've done that, you need to go back up into your um, background clip and change it the same parameters there. Right. 
So you come up here and you'd find that was tile number three. You find tile number three and then you change the parameters to match exactly what you had in the in the individual clip. And that's how all this works. Hope you got something out of it. Um, it's been kind of fun to discover and uh, hope you find some success with it. This is Steve Russell. Thanks for watching.